Well, that brings us to... May I? It's been a long time coming, this, You wanted to do this for years. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I haven't watched this since it happened, okay? I have vivid memories. I don't even know why. Yeah. But as I was thinking about it, as I was thinking about it, I figured out why, okay? So... First, I want to mention how clever this actually was because, you know, Vince, the last couple of years, it was, you know, he was useless. And, uh, and then he was gone, and, like, things are, things are better. They're not perfect, especially if you watch Raw Monday, but they're much, much better. But back in the day, this bro knew what he, knew what he was doing. And, uh, you know, we made fun of Luger and the Lex Express and going to SummerSlam and losing, okay? But Vince had a plan. And his plan was, well, he's going to lose. But he's going to be so popular, and he's going to go to the Royal Rumble, and he's going to win. Even though the stip was he could never get another shot, the only way around that is to win the Royal Rumble. And then he will go on to WrestleMania, and he'll win that title. That was Vince's idea. He thought it would be awesome. So, en route, he's got a feud here with Ludwig Borga. And they want to make Ludwig Borga into a killer. And so they book this match, the undefeated Ludwig Borga, against the undefeated Tatanka. And of course, spoiler, Ludwig Borga beats Tatanka. He ends the streak because it was their way of giving Ludwig Borga that giant push to make him unbeatable to then fall to Lex Luger. And uh, it was clever because do you remember when uh, uh, Kevin Nash was on his way to ending Goldberg's win streak? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember what they did leading up to that? He ended Wrath's win yes. streak. Yes. Yeah. They quietly built another win streak for another guy, and Kevin Nash went in, and he ended Wrath's win streak as a way to build up to him and Goldberg with the streak and the title and everything. So anyway, that was clever. Now, I've mentioned this a million times about wrestling. Everybody knows that wrestling is fake. But fans do get into things that are real. What is real in wrestling? And it's not like doing some shitty fucking promo where you talk about somebody's family or this and that, which you know is bullshit even though it's something real. Wrestling is fake, but you know what's real is Tatanka had never been beaten. Mm -hmm. And Ludwig Borga had never been beaten. It's like a hair match in Mexico. You know the match is fucking bullshit, but someone's really gonna end up bald. And so you fucking pay your money because, oh, my God, I might see, uh, you know, Tarzan boy may not have hair. So anyway, it means something when you have two undefeated people going up against each other. And uh, and I watched the match, and don't get me wrong, it's not like a great match or anything like that. I'll say. And my fucking God, after going on Observer Live today and ranting for ten fucking minutes about too many fucking chin locks on Raw, <laughs> these motherfuckers do three long chin locks in this match. With that said... It was a simple fucking story. And the story was Ludwig Borga is practically invincible. I thought he did a really good job being practically invincible. He got taken off his feet. It took a lot of work, but he got taken off his feet once early. He got taken off his feet a second time later. But other than that, no matter what Tatanka did, he was just fucking Superman. And Tatanka was great with his face. Like, fuck, look at this guy. I'm trying all my moves. And he's, I did my chop. He's not falling down. And he was all worried. And he did a great job selling. And the fans were, were it was a lot of crowd sweetening and everything like that. But, you know, he, Tatanka played his role great. Ludwig Borga played his role great. All in a match that wasn't great, but it was a good story. And, of course, at the end, Fuji and, you know, he comes out and the ref's distracted. Ludwig Borga gets him with one chair shot to the back. And Tatanka is killed. Yes. He's dead. And Borg is in the ring. And Vince is like, he's unmoving. He hasn't moved. And Borga goes outside. And he throws Tatanka into the ring. And uh, not only does Ludwig Borga end the win streak, but Tatanka's flat on his back. And Ludwig Borga goes, and he puts one finger on Tatanka, and he ends the win streak of the Native American Tatanka. They've been playing up on TV forever. A year and a half, I think. With a 
finger. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that ref counts to pin, Ludwig Borges stands up and he just holds up the finger and he goes, one finger, one finger. And then, of course, they get all the heat on Tatank afterwards. Yokozuna comes out, sits on the guy and everything like that. But if you're talking about, like, we need to build the strongest challenger we have for Lex Luger to beat so that Lex Luger can get over the way we want him to, go on, win the Rumble, go win the championship, become Hulk Hogan, they did a fucking great job. Now, of course, everything on paper is on paper. In real life, didn't work out. But... You could see exactly what the intent of all of this was. Vince's idea was sound. Tatanka was great. Ludwig Borga was great. The story was great. The setup was great. But shit happens in real life. But I, I thought it was way better than I expected. Am I the only one? Well, let's see. I, I watched this with, with uh, a different set of eyeballs because we've talked about this before. Uh, this is a very, very memorable thing for you. Whereas I completely forgot how Tonka's undisputed streak has ended. And we watched we were watching Superstars for a while a year or two back. And you Tonka won all the time. And you would say, another win for this win streak for that stupid ending. And I would say, how the hell did it end? And I thought we, we would get there and eventually we gave up with Superstars and never find out. So uh, once we gave up with Superstars, I looked it up so I kn knew it was here. We've talked about it before. So I, I watched this to see what made it so memorable for you and why did I forget it? So I'm watching this. Ludwig comes out first, and they go to commercial after his entrance. And Vince wants to make sure you stick around, so he shouts at you, Our feature matchup this week, it's going to be a humdinger! A humdinger, he said, and I laughed. So the actual match, as you noted, it's very, very simple and very, very basic. Ludwig does the weebling and wobbling, but don't go down. Horribly at it, by the way. He's horrible at this. But it's, it's the same thing every time. The Tatanka does like one shoulder and two shoulders, and the third shoulder, Ludwig goes down, but he pops right back up to his feet. So Tatanka goes to Lariat, and the Lariat doesn't go, and the second Lariat doesn't go, and the third Lariat gets him down, but Ludwig's right back up to his feet. And Tatanka is shocked. They just do this over and over and over again. Fuji just wanders out with a Japanese flag, not doing anything, and there's, there was no point to it early. Uh, go to commercial, we come back, there's a lot of chin locks going on. Tatanka hits one suplex, but Ludwig no-sells it like Minoru Suzuki. hits a big lariat and goes back to that chin lock. And Tatanka keeps trying to do his war dance to fire up. And every time he starts to fire up, Ludwig just has a body shot and cuts him off. And Tatanka goes down. And finally, Tatanka fights with the body shots, hits a couple of chops, and then Ludwig hits one more body shot, and Tatanka goes down again. And so it's time for the big finish. And, uh, Tatanka gets thrown outside. Mr. Fuji takes the ref. Ludovic hits him with the chair, throws him in, pins him with one finger. That part alone took like three minutes. <laughs> it was three minutes of one chair shot and one pin with one finger. And it simultaneously felt like like a big deal because the streak ended, but also not a big deal because it was so anticlimactic. He didn't even do a move. He hit him with a chair and pinned him. And he didn't need him in the chair either. It's not like Tatanka was robbed. Tatanka was getting his ass beat. So he hit, the, and even more so, I'll skip ahead here, but Tatanka gets his big win. There's a big post-match thing we'll get into in the details here, but he ends up getting beat up by Lex Luger and tossed out of the ring. Like, when this is all said and done, I am not sure Ludwig Borger was any more over than he was coming into the show. All those years of Tatanka wins to sacrifice for this, and it goes... Nowhere. Well, we'll have to see the follow-up. I mean, they may show 9,000 video packages on Raw for the next 22 we'll weeks of we'll him see. ending the streak. We'll see, but... So I'm watching this, and I think, well, I kind of I get this, because this is the payoff to, like... I, I think it was seriously a year and a half of his undefeated streak, and this is where it ends. It's so forgettable that it's memorable. <laughs> <laughs> and I know how stupid that sounds. I, I really mean that. Like once you once you when you're watching, it's like that doesn't come off like a big deal at all. But now watching with older eyes and a, a critic's eyes, not a fan's eyes, I'm lo looking for uh, setup and payoff and all that kind of thing, and it's just whew, done. <laughs> well, Vinny, you got to look at it this way. What the fuck were they going to do with Tatanka? You know what I'm saying? The <laughs> only point to his long win streak was to get somebody else over. And given the idea was that they wanted Luger to be the next Hulk Hogan, to Vince, this was an extraordinarily valuable thing right here. Borga is going to end this guy's streak. 
to get that guy over to then put over Luger en route to Luger being the next Hulk Hogan. That was his idea. It didn't work. But honestly, what else were they going to do with Tatanka's win streak? Make him the champion? He wasn't going to be the champion. They could have done one main event match against Yokozuna. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I I uh, I know I, I I could watch this and see why I remembered it forever. I thought Ludwig was more hated going out of this match than he was coming in, so therefore he got something out of it. Yes. So I mean, he even <laughs> some little kid was like booing him, and he like Ludwig lunged at he him. He lunged at her, <laughs> and, and at kid... first she jumped backwards, but then she decided to fight. Yes, because. It's fake, you see. <laughs> so Ludwig wins. He's holding up one finger, and Fuji's out there. He calls for Yokozuna, and Yokozuna takes his time sauntering out to ring. I'll say that. And uh, they're dropping repeated bonsai drops onto Tonka's pelvis, not his chest. Yeah. It was supposed to be his ribs. I see. Yes. And they dragged his feet to the corner and just started dropping bonsai drops on his pelvis. So you think, you know, Luger said we we're going to watch this match. Where the hell is Lex Luger? They cut backstage where Lex Luger is in the hallway having a terrible brawl with the Quebecers. It sucks, but it's worth it because he finally fights his way through and gets through the gorilla position and hits the arena. But here comes Jacques Rougeau to wipe this guy out with a flying tackle straight out of our NFL highlight films. It was funny because when they were brawling in the hall, it looked fucking horrible. Mm -hmm. But man, when he got wiped out by that tackle, all of a sudden it was fucking on. And Luger's rolling around and trying to sit up and get out of there. And they're having a real fucking brawl. Yeah. And then the geeks come out to break it up. But there's geeks. Luger needed to be tackled to get that fire. by, By the tag team champions, both of them. Yes. Yes. And there's 85 geeks trying to separate Luger and the uh, Quebecers. No one's helping doing anything to help Tatanka in the ring. Until finally Lex breaks free, gets in the ring, beats up Ludwig and Yoko. And he's covering Tatanka's prone body to, to protect him from any more damage. And Vince is screaming, I just can't believe Tatanka's undefeated streak came to an end like this. And uh, I guess neither can I. Now, Where were the Steiners at? Uh, they, 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 cut, they get to that later. Did Vince they? McMahon okay. says later in the show, we have learned the Steiners were padlocked in their locker room. Okay. And Lawler disagrees and says that's not true. They were pulling on a door that was marked push. <laughs> All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move <laughs> where you grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected as a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, yeah. It, let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all, I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex, right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a wrestling move. and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant's battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, okay, no. Okay, all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. <laughs> I protest. He wrote the same one twice. Yeah. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I, I'm telling you, I wasn't back this time. Okay, far. fine. Read another one. Yeah, everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. <laughs> Who cares, but everybody? All the, but all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I, I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny. You did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> go to go to jail. Your okay. guilty was the high spot of the week. Uh, you I'll, shut I'll... me off. No. Oh, you're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like she, she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the cord. I can't hear you. you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. 
I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.